Hello, we're here with Debbie. She's uh, our new guest. She was referred by a very special friend. Uh, my name is Alicia Valdez, President and CEO of Global Eco Army. She wanted to know uh, a little bit more about like what we do uh, here with, um, with our nonprofit. We're a 501c3 nonprofit organization that takes care of the environment by land, air, and sea. That's why it's called Global Eco Army, Navy, and Air Force. And uh, it's no difference. Um, between us and any other army or navy or air force around the world we need exact the same uh, financial resources the same personal resources and also all the machinery that is needed to clean our waterways to clean our soil and to clean the air so we can use the same fire jets or bombers to bomb earth but with seeds of love with trees that will bring oxygen to our lungs, clean air for everybody. And that costs like millions and billions of dollars, just like the Air Force. So uh, we want to invite the whole world to join us in this mission. And also for the water, we have um, a goal to get 10% out of the plastic pollution from the ocean this year. So that's uh, our number one goal, along with 8 billion trees this year. And we also are trying to provide like recycling machines all around the world in different countries. They're like around $10 million for two, but that multiplied by 200 countries, guess how much waste we can convert into something we can use eventually and recycle and resale and create employment. And you know, it's, it's not a matter of competing with other industries, a matter of complementing each other and bringing you know, a lot of money to the economy, a lot of employment and uh, health and happiness for all. So w w would you like to please tell us what you do and uh, how you can assist us for the long-term vision of our nonprofit? Well, my, my name is Debbie Heidela. I run the cafeteria inside the Hillsborough County Courthouse. And I've been there for 29 years. And what I can tell you is the disturbing amount of plastic that we don't recycle. I sell 20, 30 cases of bottled drinks a week that are just being thrown away. We have no recycle program here in our local community, which we really need. And I am forced to buy styrofoam to package my items for my food service because the alternative are four times the amount of cost which if the government would demand that we use recycled products, that would create the production to bring that price down exactly. to make it more affordable for, for everybody. That's right. So, and and I want to... Uh, uh, well, and the recycling is we're not recycling. And we need more recycling and more projects and... I'm very happy to be here tonight and to be supportive any way I can. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. I really appreciate you being here and your feedback and how you would like to make this world a better place and how we can help you. We'll make it happen one way or another. We promise. <laughs> Thank you.